Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, so we already know that it's wash and go season and nobody has time to put a lot of effort into a style that's not going to last in the heat and humidity. So it did get a little cooler here where I live. So I did do a braid out last week. This week, the weather is back up to the 70s and 80s. So I'm going back to a wash and go. For this wash and go, we're going to be using the new Cream of Nature Pure Honey Shrinkage Defense Curl Activator. Got this at Walmart. It was about $6. This is a 10.5 fluid ounce tube. This is geared towards dry, dehydrated hair, and it has pure honey, rich coconut oil, creamy shea butter. It does not have sulfates, mineral oil, or silicones. Most, if not all of you, are probably familiar with the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Collection. They did just add this curl activator cream as well as an oil mist to their collection. So be sure to try those if you're interested. I found them at Walmart. The Cream of Nature Pure Honey Collection is infused with a blend of pure honey, certified natural coconut oil, and shea butter. So if you are not a shea butter, honey, or coconut oil fan, don't try this. This collection targets dry, dehydrated hair to provide essential moisture, softness, and smoothness where your hair needs it without weighing it down. This says defines and elongates curls and coils, creates bouncy soft curls, and moisturizes and adds shine. Directions, they add the cleansing and conditioning hair without pure honey shampoo and conditioner, section damp hair. I did not use the pure honey shampoo and conditioner. Apply Pure Honey Curl Activator from root to tip, section by section. Finger style to define curls and air dry. Do not rinse. Reapply to dry hair to refresh curls as needed. Keep out of reach of children. Okay. I did apply a little bit of a leave-in. I did use the Good Stuff Intensive Nourishment Cream. I made sure to go through, detangle my hair, and I have it twisted up underneath of this t-shirt and drying down a little bit. The Cream of Nature does say to apply to damp hair, and it says you can apply it to dry hair as well. Most of you all know that I do like to apply my leave-ins on damp hair just because it penetrates my hair better, but it also cuts down on drying time once I apply my styler. So going to take my hair down. I did go through a finger to tangle, which is why my hair is twisted up. I was talking and the camera was not even on. This type of day we're having. It's fine. So my hair is already in workable sections to apply the styler. I am going to go ahead and apply it. My hair is still pretty damp. Just nice and hydrated from that leave-in. If you're ingredient conscious, don't even bother to try the good stuff. But... It's very hydrating and it smells really, really nice. They smell like salon products. I'm going to go ahead and start applying the product. As you can see, it's nice and thick. And it's nice and, nice and creamy. It feels more of a cream, but you can see it's got some tackiness to it. It's super smooth. It smells just like the rest of the Pure Honey products. It smells nice and sweet. So smooth. Okay. I'll definitely have to apply some more. So I'm going to put a little bit more. And rake it through because I want it to smooth all of my hair. My hair feels super smooth. Like it's pretty ridiculous. It's a really thick product, but it slides and glides through the hair pretty well. And y'all can see like <laughs> she's clapped. Making sure I get that all the way through like all of my hair in this particular section. And I'm breaking and smoothing. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this just yet. Mm. I've done three of the four twists on this left side so far. First impressions. It's 
super moisturizing and it has um, a certain tackiness to it that makes me feel like it might have a hold but right now i'm not feeling like this is going to last this says that it defines and elongates curls and coils i see definition but not so much elongation which i wasn't really expecting anyway i know that there are these anti-shrinkage lines out there and i just I think it's just a marketing ploy. I'd rather your style just give me the definition and the hydration and slip and all the other features that I'm looking for in a styler and I'll stretch it myself. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know about this. I am going to go ahead and finish the style and hopefully when it's completely dry it will give me a bit of a cast that I'll feel like will last because I have things to do and I want to be cute. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my head. <sighs> Wish me luck. Still not sure how this is going to look at the end. Right now it looks okay. Like I said, my hair is super, super moisturized. I think that that's probably because of the shea butter. Not really sure how this is going to last and I'm not really awestruck by the shine that I have from the product. And it's definitely not elongating a single thing. I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair dry and then I'll come back with my final results and final thoughts. Okay, I am back. These are my results. This is what my hair is looking like. My hair honestly feels like I did my wash and go with like a wax or like a butter, maybe a shea butter, since that's one of the active ingredients in here. Also don't know why I styled my hair with this part. Not really a fan now that my hair is shrunken, but such is life. This will probably be better off paired with a gel with a little more hold. I feel like as soon as I go outside, the definition is going to leave me my hair is nice and shiny and moisturized which is definitely one of the claims on the packaging my curls are nice and soft and bouncy definitely has not weighed my hair down she has lots of volume i want to also add that as i was applying the product there was a little bit of white residue from the leave-in conditioner and the product kind of mixing and congealing on the end of my hair but i do not have any residue now that my hair is dry and i don't have any flakes i'm a fan but I don't think that this is going to give me the hold that I'm looking for. I do think this is going to maybe last a day or two. I don't see it lasting much longer than that. This will probably be better off paired with a gel. The texture very, very closely reminds me of their snot gel from the Argon Oil line. The textures are pretty similar, but this doesn't give me the cast that the snot gel gave me. I'm not an ingredient snob, so I have not looked at the ingredients, so I'm looking at them now, and glycerin is the second ingredient, which further confirms that as soon as I walk outside, this definition is going to go bye-bye. As heavy-handed as I was, I did not use a whole lot. I still have a significant amount of the product left, so I'll definitely have a few applications where I can use this. I am going to try this again. However, I am going to pair it with a gel. I'm going to see if it can work with like a wet line or like an eco style gel because I feel like this would be a great base of moisture and help to encourage the curls but they're not going to hold them. The product also claims that it's going to elongate curls and coils. Uh, I'm not really saying that but my hair is extremely shrinkage prone as you can see my hair comes well past my shoulder and is practically at my ear and i know once i go outside that's only going to get worse but all in all this is not a bad product my hair feels really 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 nice and moisturized 
I think that about sums it up with regard to this product. Let me know if you have any questions, if you've seen this, if you've picked it up, if you've tried it, what were your results looking like? Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.